A Catholic high school is under fire tonight for what some say is the censorship of students. The school pulled a recent edition of the student newspaper after a column of book recommendations included a list of LGBTQ books. Now there's a petition gaining momentum that supports the students. Brad Underwood filed this report earlier tonight. The reviews of six pieces of literature are at the center of a debate in Blue Ash. Can a student write about books with gay and lesbian characters in them? Apparently not, at least not in the Ursuline Academy student newspaper. If youth don't see themselves in the curriculum or in books or in their teachers um, or just in visual things around the school, a lot of times they don't think they can be themselves. Tristan Vaught works with schools in the Cincinnati area helping educators support all youth, especially LGBTQ students. It fires students up when they when they get excited because they can connect with a story or they can connect with uh, any educational piece. Reviews of books with non-heterosexual characters were recently published in The Lion's Roar, appealing to those tired of the traditional storylines. The paper was quickly pulled by the school administration. School president Sharon Redmond says it wasn't in the keeping with the standards of the school's publications. No one with the school would speak on camera. Instead, released a statement saying, Ursuline's administration made a choice to withdraw a recent edition of our student newspaper because it stirred confusion and even questions about what Ursuline's mission and values represent. We are going to take time to review protocols for our publications before setting any firm policies. I often don't want to to look at a school and go, oh, you're, you're doing the wrong thing. Sometimes it's about educating the school, but at the same time, um, we have to also make sure that their books, um, the student wants to share the stories where they see themselves in it to, to hopefully help other students uh, see themselves. So if we don't, if we don't allow that, we don't allow students to take on their own learning. What are we, what are we doing? And that was Brad Underwood reporting. Now the school will have the final say, but the opposition to the decision won't be going away quietly. Some alumni are starting a fundraising campaign to support LGBTQ 